Howdy fellow submission peeps. In today's video we're going to be doing another collab with Timu. Um, and I picked out a whole other bag of goodies. Most of these are sublimation tools and, and various crafting tools. But we're going to try them out and uh, see what we think about them. And overall I'm really excited about trying some new sublimation stuff, some new tools, um, a bunch of various stuff. So let's go ahead and dive on into it and see exactly what all's in this bag. All right, guys and girls, let's uh, let's dive on into this bag and see exactly what we got. First off, we have some uh, some UV epoxy. I think that's gonna be really cool. It's it's uh, it's cured in the sunlight. I've been wanting to try it. Seems like a pretty easy thing. Um, I actually got me one of these fancy pre-cutting tape dispensers. I'm super duper excited about that. I've been needing new tape dispensers, so that's super cool. Um, I don't know what these are. Let's just, let's take a look and find out. These, it looks like it is a set of vinyl tools. So we'll take a deeper dive into that in a second. This, everything's nicely packaged, I will say that. It's very it's very nice. Um, these appear to be like a 3D printing, yeah, a 3D printing uh, slash vinyl little scraper. Been needing one of those for vinyl and 3D printing stuff. Uh, sublimation little wristlets. I'm pretty excited about those. That's going to be cool. Let's see what else we got. Oh, this is heavy. These are uh, these are sublimation uh, metal pieces. There's five of those guys in there. They're actual uh, aluminum. Oh, wow. I don't know what this is. Oh. My favorite, my favorite little crafting tool, which are small. Um, they're just small, like hobby snips. Super cool. They come in a really handy 3D print and also cutting stuff. I'll check it out. Um, sublimation. Uh, these are little, uh, almost like little makeup bags. Gonna make one for my daughter. They're really cool. Uh, more um, epoxy stuff to mix the epoxy. Let's see what this is. Actually, trying not to cut my finger open. Oh wow! These are uh, are ceramic or not ceramic, acrylic uh, ornaments. And you can see we got uh, the tie and everything for them. And these are sublimation ornaments. We're going to try that out. Oh, wow. This is the uh, this is one of those things that's going to help me get my workshop organized. And what this thing is, it's a game changer if you do HTV. It is a big rack that just holds uh, rolls of vinyl. Where's the end of it? There we go. And it just it goes over a door or something, and it just uh, stretches and holds vinyl. It holds vinyl rolls. You can see how it comes all the way out. That's insanely well packaged. I don't have it. You can cut down there like that. And here's all the hardware with it. That's the hanging on a door. If that's your jam. Super cool. Um. Painting pyramids. Anytime you do crafting and you want something off your crafting space, you put a couple of these little guys down and it'll, it'll kind of elevate it off of your work table. So you can paint the edges of stuff without painting your work table. Uh, Thermomorph plastic. I don't know if you've ever messed with it, but basically you put it in warm water and what it does, it just dissolves into moldable plastic. My daughter freaking loves it and it, it has a bunch of different uh, uses. What is this? Let's see what this one is. Oh, snap. Sublimation pins. These are not plastic at all. These feel incredibly heavy. They feel like metal pins, so we're going to have to uh, 
there's shrink wrap with them too. So I'm really excited to try this. I've never, I've never tried it, and I'm, I'm curious how the how submission pins turn out. Can't wait to try it. Uh, some 12 by 12 uh, cameo slash cricket. Um, these are the uh, standard grip. Um, they're just the ones that get, feed into your cameo. A rosewood pen. I've been needing a nice pen, and I saw this on there for just a few dollars, and it looked beautiful. Oh, wow. That is a very nice, high-quality pen. I need some paper, bro. I don't have any, though. I don't have anything to write on. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice ballpoint pen right there. And that is, uh, that's a rosewood. Really nice. I've been, I've been wanting a cool pen. So I saw that and I'm like, uh, this is more of the th thermomore plastic. This is a little, a little more, a bigger quantity of it. See, I got several bags of thermomore plastic. Go ahead and get all that out of the way. Uh, epoxy stuff. I don't know what these are. Uh, we'll go ahead and put these guys to use. <gasps> these are uh, hexagon refrigerator magnets that are sublimation. So super cool with that. And last but not least are these. Uh, I wanted to try try their wood sheets to see if they would get here okay. And sure enough, here they are, and they're like thin, almost like a plywood base wood material. I'm going to try laser cutting these and see what we can come up with on that. And that appears to be it. Um, overall, a whole lot of stuff for like 150 bucks. Um, there's just tons and tons of stuff here. Uh, but we'll go ahead and get it, uh, get everything unboxed, and we'll, we'll review each item. To prep the pins for sublimation, we print the paper, wrap the pins, tape it to hold it in place, and finally shrink wrap it using the included shrink wrap. All right, guys and girls, we're getting on up here in temperature, so we're going to put our pins in. We're doing them for six minutes, so we're just going to put them right in the oven. So we're just going to go ahead and put them in there, close it. Try to not try to lose as little heat as we can, and we're going to let them cook for six minutes. All right, boys and girls, let's see how these pins turned out. I've never done them before, so I don't know what to expect. But we'll go ahead and get it out. Interesting. The paper got a little too warm because it, it kind of, I'll show you in a second, but first attempt not too good. The paper got a little bit warm. So it's still kind of cute, but it didn't get the color quite right on it. So I'm going to work on that. We'll try it again. But nonetheless, I'll show you how it looks assembled. My kid will love it anyway, but it's not perfect. Basically, all you do is put that in there. Put that in there. Get one of these uh, sliders. Put it on through there. And just assemble the other end. It's really that simple. It's still, it's still cute, but it's just the colors aren't vibrant. But that's okay. We'll get it. 
not bad for a first try. Things in the oven are kind of kind of finicky sometimes. All right, guys and girls, the first thing I'm going to show you is this fancy tape dispenser that's completely custom. Or not completely custom, but it's just, it's different than the usual one, like, usual just standard three-inch three, three inch one. Um, first things first, we're going to go ahead and show you how to load it up. We're going to load up the, the custom size, and all it does is just do that. And then you just do that, and it's ready to cut. You just put your blade up, put your blade up, and... There you go. That one's ready to go. Now we're gonna go ahead and do this, these other two. And to do that, you just pull this piece out and you'll see that. And we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do one green roll. If I can find the end of it. Let's see if this other one's any better. Yeah, there's my roll, there's my end. Sublimation tape finding the end. Huge enemy, huge enemy. All right, we're going to set that there. And these are brand new rolls I just got. So we're going to throw a couple of those on the tape dispenser too. And this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I've, I wanted to show you how you load it so there are people, so you, everybody can understand how it works. But basically what you do is you just, uh, yeah, it rotates that way. So we're just going to put a couple... We're just going to take a piece and put it just like that. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're just going to put that piece, tape the edge, and we're going to do it like that. And then we're going to put both pieces like that. Going to go past it. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to go ahead and start rotating. And what this thing will do, it will simultaneously cut it. And go ahead and get, it's going to pre-cut the tape for us. So see, you literally just pick a piece up. And it's pre-cutting everything. This thing's so amazing. It's it's incredible. It's, it's literally the best thing ever. And so you can also put your tools in it and everything. It's just so cool. They need a piece of tape? There you go. You got it. This thing's so cool. You need something longer? You can just do this. <laughs> But anyway, as I, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, this thing is freaking cool, man. Dude, I freaking love this thing. This is my favorite tape dispenser I've ever seen. It's awesome. Look at that thing. I wish these fit a little bit tighter, but, you know, for what it is, it's amazing. Love it. All right, guys. Now, I know this isn't sublimation uh, related, but when I found out Timu had this stuff which is thermomorph plastic. I was so darn excited because I used to love messing with this stuff. It's fantastic. I use it to make like custom handles to help help me grip stuff. And what it does, it turns into, it turns clear whenever, whenever you get it in hot water. And see, it's kind of sticky. And you can use it, mold it and stuff. It's got a fairly low melting point. It's pretty hot right now, but it's not that bad. I'll go ahead and tear a little bit of it off. But what you can do with this, you can use it to make like custom handles for stuff. Like if I want to make this handle for this to fit exactly my hand, I can just go in there and do that and just let it dry and it'll be perfect for my fingers. That's the way you can make custom um custom handles so we'll set this over here to dry and i'll show you in a minute it'll turn back opaque white uh oh <laughs> the only problem with it if you let when you let it start cooling you're in trouble but this stuff's so freaking neat because of the stuff you can do with it also it's worth mentioning that this is finally hardened up my custom uh, thing, my custom handle made from polymorph plastic, which you heat up and you just do what you want as shown earlier. And as you can see, it's a perfect fit for my fingers when I'm working on vinyl and stuff. 
and you can see just how it's very custom fit <laughs> it's exactly perfect crazy and this is the leftover it's still not hopefully hardened but yeah that's this stuff really neat next up we're going to show you the uh the tool set this is the vinyl tool set from uh from timu these are just diagonal cutters uh I got them from my 3D printer. They are incredibly sharp and very useful for just all kind of different stuff. Got a ruler, which we don't really, I uh, just prefer measuring tapes, I guess. And then you got all this stuff that come in a package too. All kind of good stuff. A whole thing of X-Acto knife blades. That's awesome. This aluminum X-Acto knife is pretty neat too. It's an aluminum anodized exacto style hobby knife we have some really tiny scissors these little guys it's amazing in doing vinyl those little those little guys are insanely handy and also some that a little more reach reach to them just like that also these little picks which are insane they're just they're, they're just real lifesavers when it comes to vinyl, HTV anyway. And yeah, just uh, a little pick. I don't really use this as much as I do like these. These are these are a godsend when it comes to it. But yeah, that's all the stuff you get in that kit. Pretty awesome. Also, Timu had these painting pyramids. And how these work are you just put them under your workpiece. And that way when you paint them, you can get the edges without getting your workpiece. Like say you just needed to paint something. You can just get them and then you can paint it and then it just won't mess up the edge. They're fantastic. They're stackable. They don't take up much space. Super duper handy little fellas. Always love having these in my shop. Let's see. Next up are these wooden pieces that are going to be on my laser cutter. Uh, my laser cutter is kind of not working at the moment. Um, I need to do some repairs on it, so I'm not able to test them. But they're good thickness. They feel good. They feel just like the base foot off of uh, Amazon. This is also part of that set from uh, the Vinyl Tools. And last but not least, well not last, but uh, are some of these just standard grip um, 12 by 12 Cameo uh, work surfaces for, for like the Cameos and Crickets and all that. And they hold down paper. Uh, HTV, regular vinyl, anything else. Really, really handy. Fantastic. And there's also this guy that I'm going to be using on my door. And what this is, this is a vinyl holder. And these rolls, uh, we'll go ahead and get a roll. And you can see that you just put your vinyl in there and just hang it up. And you got all your vinyl stored. So I'll go ahead and put that on the on the wall and show you how that works. All right, guys and girls, let's go ahead and get the uh, get the first one going. Heat press is heating up. We're going to do this at 375. And what this is, this is a piece of metal. It's like a, it's just a sheet of aluminum that's coated, and it's got that little sticky sticky side to it. Peel that guy right off. And with this being metal, I like to do those uh, face down. So really, you don't even have to use tape. You can literally just put that there. It's oversized, so we can just center that guy up. And we can go ahead and get that ready to press. Just by putting that piece over it. And it'll be good to go. Now, as soon as that press heats up, we'll go ahead and press it. We're pressing it for 375 for 70 seconds. All right, guys, heat press is going off, so we're going to be pressing these 375 for 70 seconds. Coming up on 20 seconds, we're going to go ahead and glove up. Metal gets kind of hot, so I don't really want to mess around with it. So we're going to glove up with our favorite, uh, our favorite gloves. Let's see what we got. Uh-oh. And as expected, metal is one of the easiest things to start subbing with, and it always prints pretty perfect. So that's a cool anime picture of my golden retriever that I thought was really freaking cool.
So go ahead and put that out of the way. And next up, I have been meaning to try some of these other things, like these little uh, these little refrigerator magnets. So go ahead and get these ready. Go ahead and prep them. I don't think that's quite got it, but let's find. I think that'll be just fine. I'm going to go ahead and put one on the golden retriever one too. And these are the refrigerator magnets. They should be pretty cool. But really, I needed to make those just a little bit smaller. I didn't really think about the hexagon shape, but it, it's fine. I'll go ahead and put them over here. I'll go ahead and loosen the pressure up a little bit since it's a little bit thicker. Go ahead and put that back on there. Go ahead and press them for 375 for 70. All right, guys, coming up on 15 seconds. I don't really know what to expect with these, um, with these refrigerator magnets. I haven't done these exact things in ever, so I don't really know what to expect. I just know that that's not a bad sign. They definitely didn't stick. Oh, they look great. Those look fantastic. Oh, that looks so good. If I make that Goosebumps one's a little bit smaller, man, that, that Golden Retriever one looks gorgeous. Look at that. That is one of the most beautiful things. I'm I'm very surprised at that. That is gorgeous. I love it. Freaking love it. And this was such a cool idea. Such a cool idea. I love that. That's made for somebody special. He's gonna freaking love it. Alright. Now last but not least is the acrylic ornament. This thing scares me because it feels it feels like it's too low of a melting point that it might actually uh, just just mess up. So we're going to find out. As the famous words, we're going to learn today. So we're going to put that there. We'll go ahead and do that. We're going to do that uh, hole up. You can kind of see exactly how you're lining it up, which is really cool. If I knew where my tape dispenser was, there it is. Perfect. Now, we're going to try to do this. Uh, I don't think we're going to want to do this double-sided because, as you can see, you can kind of already see through it. So we're going to try this face up. Hopefully this doesn't wreck anything. But we're going to put paper on both sides just in case that way it don't get stuck to the heat press or nothing stupid. And we're going to do this 375 for 70. Although I might regret it, but we'll see. All right, guys and girls, coming up on 15 left. Um, hopefully, it's not stuck to the heat press. Um, well, then again, it would just be stuck to the paper. That's why we use protective paper. Uh, but let's see what we got. I, I don't know what, to, with it being acrylic, I don't know what to do. I don't know what's going to happen. Might be melted completely, might look good. Don't know. Uh, um, yeah. That happened. Let's lay that flat and see if that'll actually cool, cool a little bit better. That's a little too much heat on that. And once you let it cool off, it still looks pretty good. Granted, it it did warp considerably. But if I'd let it, if I'd let it be a little flatter when it was cooling off, I think we're fine. It's still super cute. And it, it doesn't have the same gloss like as this side. It's got a little bit, but not as much. But overall, it's still really cool. You just gotta, after it melts, you gotta let it uh, let it cure out flat. Not like what I did.
sorry guys, that's our uh, that's our Timu experience for today. Um, overall, if it's three things I've learned about Timu, it's that you can never ever go wrong with the metal stuff. is top, absolute top notch. Uh, the tools are incredible. I'm especially happy with this little guy. This tape dispenser is literally going to change my life. <laughs> Um, and they got cool stuff like uh, Thermomorph Plastic where I can make custom handles for stuff. Just to make life a little more comfortable. As always, I mean, everything else printed great too. Like the, the refrigerator magnets are good. Um, the acrylic ornaments, even though I melted them. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think you can sublimate them without melting them though. But they do melt back into position. You just don't let them stick to your heat press and try to get them as flat as you can. Um, the pins, I didn't do a good job on. That's more of a me thing than it is a Timu thing. Uh, that's just me not knowing how to do pins. That was my first experience ever doing it. Um, I'm going to give them another try. I'm going to do a dedicated video on how to do pins once I get it perfected. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. But overall, <laughs> I'm just super happy with everything. All the tools, all the metal stuff. Um, I didn't get a chance to do a lot of the stuff. I also did get stuff like this. But I know that Sublimation Fabric is going to do fantastic. So if you found this video helpful, feel free to give it a big old thumbs up. As always, uh, everything we use today will be in the video description below where you can check it out on the Timo website. Um, I highly recommend them. Uh, yes, the shipping's not extremely fast, but the prices are fantastic. You can get a whole bunch of stuff for a whole little, and it's all good quality stuff. I haven't had any issues. Uh, like I said, the pins are more of a me thing than a, than a quality thing. That's just, I did the same thing with tumblers when I first started doing them. I, I ended up running a couple times. So I got the rhythm down on them, but I'll get there. And like I said, I'll do a dedicated video on that and show you exactly how I do that. But all right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.